What is the difference between CPUs with 6 and 8 cores? In terms of performance and cost, if you're on 6 cores now, is it worth the upgrade to 8? I was faced with the same dilemma and decided to check. In the following minutes, you can see a comparison between the 6 core AMD Ryzen 5 5600 and the 8 core Ryzen 7 5700X. These CPUs are not the latest on the market and do not have the latest technical improvements, but they are very popular because of the very good pricing. They offer great value. The Ryzen 5 5600 and Ryzen 7 5700X are both mid-range CPUs from AMD's Zen 3 architecture, released in 2020. This means they offer similar core performance per clock and power efficiency. Both use the same AM4 socket. This means they are compatible with the same motherboards. AMD has a newer platform, AM5, which leverages the cutting-edge DDR5 memory for higher bandwidth and PCIe5 for potential future-proofing although widespread adoption of these technologies is still ongoing. But being the newer platform, AM5 components currently carry a premium price tag. Also, AMD has stated continued support for AM4 for several years, meaning future processor upgrades are possible within the same platform depending on specific chipset limitations. The differences between the two CPUs are in the core count, threads and clock speeds. 5700X is generally more expensive too, both CPUs support overclocking. You can potentially squeeze some extra performance out, but for today's test, I didn't overclock. The test system today is based on a X570 motherboard, 32GB DDR4 RAM in dual channel at 3200 MHz, Samsung 980 NVMe, and AMD Radeon RX 6600 GPU. The cooler is a more basic one. It is not a fancy config, but it's a more common among PC users. I ran the most popular benchmark nowadays, starting with the CPU tests in Geekbench 6. The Ryzen 5700X is 4.2% faster at single core performance and 6% in multi-core. I am a little bit surprised of the small differences in the multi-core results. But on the other hand, in Cinebench R23, the difference is bigger, 19.5% in multi-core and 4.4% in single. Blender is popular open source software for creating 3D content. 5700X renders a popular car scene 53 seconds faster and the more complex classroom image 1 minute and 48 seconds faster. With larger projects, the difference will be felt even more. Handbrake is tool for converting video. The 6 core 5600 encoded a 1 minute 4K GoPro video for 8 minutes flat. The same video with the same encoding settings was encoded for 6 minutes and 39 seconds with the 8 core CPU. Content creation is certainly the category where the more cores make an impact. But the same cannot be said for gaming, which is not unexpected. Games rely more on the video card and are not very good at utilizing more than 4 or 6 CPU cores. I ran 3 in-game benchmarks, Cyberpunk, Far Cry 6 and Tomb Raider. All the games were at 1440p resolution and the same presets. The results are very similar. For the last benchmarks today, I used 3 DMARC GPU tests. Firestrike, Firestrike Ultra and Time Spy are the most popular in the suite. 5700X has respectively 2.8%, 1% and 3.97% better score. Nothing spectacular, minimal differences. Ultimately, the best CPU choice depends on the specific needs and budget. Consider what tasks you will be using the CPU for and how much you are willing to spend. 5600 is better choice if you are on a budget and mainly focused on gaming. It offers excellent value for money and delivers great gaming performance. Choose the 5700X if you need more cores and threads for demanding tasks like video editing, heavy multitasking or professional workloads. It also offers slightly better single-threaded performance and higher boost clocks.